Hello, body paints enthusiasts, artists, and canvases. My name is Red, and I'm the lead artist for Beyond the Canvas. And my name is Gloria Bueno, and I'm the lead canvas for BTC. Today, I just want to talk to you about what goes into body painting. So if you've ever wondered about the creative process, about the time, the labor, and the beautiful experience that goes into this intimate and intricate process, then we are here to share our knowledge with you. The reason why I found passion in body painting is because I found that it is a beautiful way to connect with myself and also connect with others. I found that with setting intentions in my painting and designs, it allows me to help people heal, grow, express themselves, and just create beautiful memories. Recently, I found out that my best body paints are collaborations with my canvas. So if they feel really comfortable and confident with what they're presenting, that's the best way to body paint really, because it's an intimate experience. So I wanna to talk to you guys about what goes in your body paint kit. If you're a face painter, your kit's gonna look basically the same. You wanna make sure that you have body safe paints, so hyperallergenic, non-toxic, preferably cruelty-free paints. And there's so many different brands that you can use. There's Fab, Maron, Paradise, Wolf, Diamond FX, um, Chameleon, and the list goes on. So just make sure you're doing your research on that. I use water-based paints to do full coverage, and then wax-based paints are for details and fine lines as well. In my kit, I also have a variety of brushes. I use a kabuki for full coverage. Some people use airbrush, it's up to you. For detail, um, I use round brushes number one, four, and six. For medium size stuff, I would use like filberts, flat brushes, and half, um, half inch brushes as well. I also wanna talk about the creative process that goes into body painting. So when you're creating a design, make sure that first you start off with your theme and then branch off of that and brainstorm your ideas. So you're gonna brainstorm your vision, your reasoning, what you're trying to communicate with others, your feelings, and a story if you have one. And then also, if you're stuck on an idea, just communicate with your canvas, because I'm sure they have ideas as well. And talk to them about the theme or your ideas and your chart, and then see what um, y'all can communicate and collaborate with. After you've come up with your design, next is choosing your color palette. Also, use your canvas as an inspiration for that. With specific hair color or skin tones, you can create a palette off of that. The most important thing about body paint is communication. So make sure you're communicating with your canvas. Make sure you're talking about the time, the place that you're gonna be body painting, transportation, and explaining your process, your idea, and your vision and reasoning. Remind your canvases of what to bring and what to expect. So tell them to bring a mat, a robe, comfortable shoes, accessories, snacks, and water. And it's important that you make sure you're, you're providing a safe space for them as well. To ensure a great experience, make sure you have a safe environment and make sure that you have positive energy entering this and leave all your negative intentions, your negative energy at home because this is a very intimate project. So, um, Gloria, if you wanna talk about your experiences or ideas. Hi, my name is Gloria Bueno and I am the lead canvas of BTC. Um, so, uh, Red's touched up on a few points that are very important, I think for the canvases to also reach out to the artist and ask. Um, so basically one of the first things is mentally being prepared on how long the process takes. Um, she's really great at communicating with um, the artists and letting them know that, hey, it's about a, what, six, seven hour process. And so I think that if that's something that you're not able to endure, you have to communicate with your artists and let them know. Second of all, um, she made a great point about things to bring. A lot of times canvases come in thinking, hey, here's my body, but they don't necessarily ask the artist, you know, the right kind of questions in terms of like, do I bring pasties? If I'm not comfortable with pasties, can I wear a bra? Um, what kind of uh, cloth if I have bottoms and a top, um, which preferably is non-cotton, that's the best, um, the best kind of clothing for the artist to paint on. Next point is definitely asking the artist how they want you to become in character, you know, ask them for references, ask them their inspiration, ask them if they need help with their concept. Don't be afraid to ask these questions because it's important for you to present the work to your best ability because it reflects you and it reflects the artist. Absolutely. 
also, um, you know, kind of add your own twist. You know, once you find out what the artist is looking for, do not be afraid to explore and add a little bit of your personali personality to that character or to that concept. It's such a great experience whenever you start talking to your artist about the references and their ideas and then it builds a very great bond and it, it's just an amazing feeling. And I, the reason why I joined body painting is because I wanted to grow as a performer. I also wanted to heal a lot of insecurities that I had within myself. And then working with the right artist, you, you, you get all of that. And it's just, it's just an amazing feeling. And you know, for me, when I started, at that time, I didn't have a lot of um, I didn't have a lot of information to help me as a canvas, and that's why we're here. We're here to help you get comfortable and to ex to know what to expect when you decide to make a commitment to body painting. Absolutely, that's a great point. So, those are some really great points, and all of that can be applied to your photo shoot as well as your presentation. So a really important part of body painting is making sure that you're gonna capture this artwork. So make sure you book a photographer or make sure you have your camera and something um, of great quality to capture this. So even if you have a Polaroid camera, that's cool too. It's just, if you don't, like it just goes down the drain. When you're booking your photo shoot session, make sure that you guys are have a really cool um, backdrop for it, either if it's white, if it's black, or if it goes well with your body paint as well. That's the best part. Um, and talk about creative poses with your canvas and as well as with your photographer. Because some, of, some photographers are not used to shooting body paint, so they're gonna try to be posing your model and make sure that your model is comfortable with these poses. Since it, they could feel like they're in a vulnerable state, make sure that they're comfortable and it's not like sexy poses, it's more creative showing off your body paint poses. And that's why canvases, it's very important to reach out to your artists and ask, you know, the references, their inspiration, how you can get into character, because again, it's more than just sexy poses, it's getting into character, it's sending that message, it's, you know, bringing that concept to life, and we want the audience to experience that, and we want the audience to at least think about that concept, think about that message, and so a lot goes into researching yourself too. A practice in the mirror, you know, Google, YouTube, find, you know, read books that are similar to that subject and you know what, it helps you grow as a person, it helps you bond and it also helps you just kind of like help people think differently and it's just a, an amazing feeling, it's great, it's rewarding. Absolutely. Thank you, Gloria. If you have any questions, concerns or if there's something else that you want to see on our next vlog or if you want to share your experience as a body painter then please comment below and subscribe to our channel it's beyond the canvas official we do have an instagram as well it's beyond the canvas sa and we have a website where you can keep up with us you can register for our next competition and that's beyond the canvas dot org and then follow me on Instagram. <laughs> or you can follow me too. <laughs> it's at Red's Body Art, R-E-D-S Body Art. And mine's Glowbot2113. If you have any questions about wanting to become a canvas, feel free to message me. I would be happy to give you some tips and just kind of give you some information. That's what we're here for. We're here to help you grow and we're trying to grow as well. So don't be afraid to reach out. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.